So any, any last words or should I check this off? I got nothing. Okay. And uh, yeah, then on the flip side, I, mean, I can probably guess this, but how did you get into the blogging? Since I don't want to uh, put words in your mouth. I, I think the big difference was on, um, in September 2006, the Dawson College shooting. I was, I was at home. Um, I think I was the only editor at the Gazette who wasn't working that day, or wasn't forced to work that day. Um, so I was, I was sitting at home and I was watching on the TV, I was watching the news coverage of it. I was watching uh, how, um, you know, CTV broke into the regular program. They, they, they ended their new newscast because it happened just before one, and it was like, Oh, and by the way, there looks like there might have been a, a shooting at Dawson College. We'll get more, more news at 6. And they signed off the newscast. And then, I think, not long after, they're like, wait a second, no, we have... And then, and then, and then they went live with coverage. Um, and so I was just on, on my, my, my sort of personal live journal account. I was just sort of live blogging it, posting, posting my thoughts, posting snarky comments. And my friends seemed to love it. And they were like, oh my god, this, this is so funny, you need to read this. Um, but this was, I mean, this was sort of just between me and my friends type thing. And then I decided, you know what, maybe I should, maybe I should do something. And then, so a few months later, I started a blog, I, I registered the domain name, and, and I just, I started, started writing, you know. Uh, at the very, very beginning, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of the kind of stuff you find on Twitter now, you know, like two-sentence posts and, and, and snarky comments and stuff. And... Uh, and it just it just sort of grew in terms of in terms of audience from there as people discovered it. I take it you are enjoying it because if you weren't enjoying it, you wouldn't be doing it. Uh, certainly not. No, <laughs> I certainly would not be putting anywhere near as much work as as as, as I do into it. Um, it's you know you, you see what's written on the blog, but there's so much more that is thought of. Or compiled, or you know, so much, so much other work that goes into the background of it. Um, that uh, a lot of reading, a lot of reading Twitter and reading other blogs and, and reading news articles and stuff that I I probably wouldn't do if I if I didn't thoroughly enjoy it. Okay, there is if you take sort of like a regular work week as being forty hours, do you spend as much time, more time, less time on the blog? Probably about that. Um, it depends on how much I'm working, because you know my actual job obviously takes precedence. Uh, it depends on you know, what's good on TV. Although now that I have a PDR, uh, you know I can I can schedule things a bit better. Um, but I mean, I come home, you know, I read my email, I check Twitter, I check Facebook, uh, you know, I I read stuff. So most of my free time. Unless I'm watching something really good on TV that needs all my attention, I am either reading or researching or doing something else that's was probably related to the blog. Okay. And what, are there any specific blog posts that stand out to you as either particularly horrible or particularly wonderful? Hard to say. I mean, I've, I think I've written more than a thousand of them, so it's. You know, they're kind of a jumble. Um, there are good ones, and, and ones that um, I'll probably use an ex as an example for other people who say, you know, I want to I wanna get started in blogging or doing what else, and I want to build an audience, and, but I don't have connections and stuff, what do I do? Um, there was one post where I, or a few posts where I, I sort of used quantitative measures to evaluate the local TV newscasts. Um, when, uh, when CBC expanded from half an hour to an hour and a half, I, I sort of looked at it and I'm like, well, you seem to be repeating a lot of stuff. So I actually, I got out a spreadsheet and I, I, I tabulated how many stories there were, how, many, how, how, long, how many times they were repeated, how long they were, how much of the schedule they made up, you know, how much was spent on weather and stuff. And I did, I did pie charts to find out, you know, how much, how much time spent on weather, how much, how many, how much time is spent on, on local news versus you know, prepackaged stuff they get from Toronto. 
um, and and sort of you could sort of see looking at that compared CTV, CBC, and Global their their local newscasts in Montreal. You know, you could see which ones were were more local, which ones cared more about weather and stuff like that. Uh, that was a lot of fun uh, to, to to sort of sort of see that. And of course, it involved a lot of work. I had to watch. I think at least nine hour-long newscasts, and then of course do all the tabulation and, and, and math work. Um, but it was a lot of fun, and, and it's something, you know, you don't need any expertise to do, you're just watching TV. Um, and I'm doing uh, something similar, although not so quantitative, in, uh, in watching uh, this new Sun News Network. I've got a uh, big blog post that I'm putting together about that, which hopefully I'll be able to publish this week. Um, and, you know, it, it, it's, it's a lot of that just, just Looking, I don't, I don't. I mean, there there are certain things that I aspire to. Like, I aspire to get Patrick Lagasse's traffic. You know, uh, whenever he links to me, even even sort of in passing, it's just it's like hundreds of people heading heading to my blog. So, you know, I aspire for that. Um, I think it might be fun to be a, a columnist for a newspaper someday or or some other media. Um, you know, the, the the longer posts. Mm -hmm. um, the stuff that I that I spend more time on and and it's just such a relief because some of these things, you know, it's it's weeks uh, or months, you know, a lot of it is just sitting there. I'm being able to add a paragraph once a week or something, and I just, I'm constantly thinking about it, although not actually working on it all that much. And when I can finally hit publish, you know, I'm mean, like it's such a relief that it's finally done and, and people can finally see it and see what I've been working on this whole time. Um, worst. I mean, there's there's some stuff that's like, you know, whatever. I'm posting a funny video or something like that. Um, there there have been a few times that I got it wrong. Um, when uh, when uh, Ted Bird left Shome FM, I I'd written that he'd gotten fired, uh, which I soon found out was not the case. It was a, it was a big exclusive for me. It's like I got I got the news based on off tip, um, but I but it was one of those cases where. Information that I thought had validated what I what I thought was not in fact true. Someone had given me a tip that he'd gotten fired, and so I went on the website and they'd scrubbed every reference to him. And I'm like, well, this is pretty clear that that he's right, but it wasn't obvious that he'd gotten fired. And uh, and, it, and as it turns out, he hadn't. Um, but uh, and and the radio station the next morning, they were all morning. They were like, he hasn't gotten fired. He quit. He's resigned, and I felt really bad about that. Uh, and uh, but fortunately, Ted Bird himself, you know, he he, he understood, and 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 now uh, now we converse uh, fairly often. Where do you see the blog going? I don't know. What do you mean by going? I guess in terms of in the future, because my I, I, my I understand you mean the future. I'm talking about going <laughs> there in terms of. I know that my various blogs have are, and are in the process of morphing and it sort of like seems about every four years something switches and boom, something else happens. You've been fairly consistent now since 2006, that's when you started, right? 2007. 2007. You're going to still figure cover the media beat in, of Quebec for the foreseeable future. Uh, it's also the sort of thing where to me, you probably have more reader, dedicated readers of your blog than certain parts of the newspaper that you work for. May, well, maybe some of the less popular it's, parts, exactly. you know, the... Yeah, obviously there are different parts of the paper, but it is, there is a very dedicated readership that you do have. I do, I do have, have, have a readership and, and it's, you know, it's a niche readership. It's a lot of journalists, obviously, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of, of media watchers, PR types. Um, so if I, if I were to ever start selling advertising, I could say, you know, it's, it, 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 it's, it's popular, but it's also extremely influential. <laughs> um, so there's, there, there's that aspect of it. I, I've been considering for a while and I'm sort of conflicted on it about splitting it up because I mean, it's not just local media. Sometimes I write about, you know, random stuff in the news, random thoughts. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, I'll also write about uh, public transit in Montreal and, and sort of urban issues. Um, and, you know, not necessarily the same audience. So some people have interest in all those things, and, and they love my blog, um, but some people don't really have interest in all of these things, and, uh, 
So I, I'd, I'd been considering sort of, sort of splitting it off in, into two or three groups. But um, I think that'll be a project for if my contract at the Gazette ends up and, and, and I'm back on my own again, that, uh, that I'll put, put a little more effort into, into how it's structured. Okay, so you'd be, the, you'd be two separate or three separate blogs or just separate Yeah, sections? I mean, on, on the same website, but, mm. but you know, different, different blogs. So people yep. can subscribe to just, you know, mm. the media stuff or just the, the transit stuff or just my random yeah. opinions on stuff. Oh, okay. And would you ever consider putting advertising on Probably. But beside April 1st, April Fool's. Probably. Um, my, my rationale so far, well, two things is, one, I have a job. It pays me well. I have really no complaints on that area. So I don't really need to do that. And I have no need to annoy people by having ads pop up all over the place. And the second thing is I don't think I have the kind of traffic, even with how popular it is, I don't think I have the kind of traffic that uh, will be enough to really justify it monetarily. And I don't have the time, because of my job, I don't have the time to really put so much energy into it to, to make it, you know, really popular and, and, and sort of invest the time needed to, to make it a, a viable business, I okay. guess. If somebody come along and offer to buy it from you, I don't even know what that means. Buy it from me, like it's like the Huffington the Post. The domain name, you no, know? no. Like, they would be this, my take on it would be they like your content, figure it would help whatever property they had, and so yet yeah, they'd buy it. You'd come along for I don't know three years, five years with a non compete agreement afterwards, and so on. They'd give you a whack of cash, and as opposed to you writing the blog yourself, you'd be writing for somebody else. And then after, the I just, I like, I like, I just don't understand how that would work. It's like, this is this is about me, you know. It, it's not, it's not like I'm, 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 I'm. It's not like Twitter or something. You can just buy it, and then they'll tell you how it works, and then they can leave with with a nice package, or maybe they're still involved. It's like this is this is my blog that has my thoughts. If someone wants to syndicate it, that's one thing. But the idea of, of buying it, like buying me, you know, it's like I, I don't. I'm not for sale. Okay. So, so sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> in that sense, I mean, if if someone had an interesting financial yeah. arrangement, uh, that would be one thing. But because yeah, because that gets bought and sold all the time. And yeah, but that's that's an institution, right? It's it's like trying to buy a columnist. Mm -hmm. And which one? Uh, Natalie Petrowski switches from paper to paper to paper. Yeah, but she's not she's not purchased. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's maybe it's a semantic thing, but it's like it's like I, I just don't understand the idea of, of purchasing someone. Okay, well there the, that's why you call it purchasing the blog. Yeah, but then it's me. You know, okay. it's 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 not, it's not like a network I've set up. It's mm -hmm. it's just it, it it's just my stuff. That sort of sense of community is is there a sense of community in the journalism Montreal media world? I, I think not as much as there used to be. Um. You don't see that that idea that okay we put the paper to bed now we're all going to go out for drinks. It's more like we put the paper to bed and now we have to go home and feed the kids. You know, um, there are a lot fewer people working, uh, especially on the night desks. You know, occasionally after an election, you know, when we had the election a couple of weeks ago, um, after the last edition was put to bed because of so many people in the office, managers took us out and bought us bought us all drinks and you know we had uh, we had some fun across the street. Um, but you don't you don't see that so much on a regular basis anymore. Certainly not, well, like it used to be. Um, and that's, I guess it's kind of sad. I don't know. I never really experienced that on a, on a regular basis. But you know, you get the sense that it's just it's just not the way it used to be socially in uh, in a newsroom than uh, that it used to be. And that's that's just because people there are a lot fewer people working a lot harder uh, to get something done and. That doesn't leave so much room for for having fun, I guess. Okay, and then with the blogging sort of community, do you find that there's? Yes, I'm still trying to search for search why it sort of dissipated, and I. I mean, guess it depends on what you mean by blogging community. I mean, there there are, there are people like the Yield Blog folks mm -hmm. who, you know, they're they're sort of friends with each other already. They they've had blogs for a while, and but the, I mean. Blogging has sort of sort of increased in size. More people are blogging, mm -hmm. um, and there there are different levels of there are levels of bloggers, different types of bloggers. There are some people who blog, you know, very regularly who spend a lot of effort on their blogs, and some people who have personal blogs, you know, 
that they just write random stuff on and they have an audience of 12 of their friends, you know? Um, so, I, I mean, it, it really depends on what you mean by, by community, I guess. It, yeah, so I'm working off the Yule Blog concept because that's the one that I know. And there it's, I find it interesting where you say that there is a lack of community in the media world, newspaper world, because it's gotten smaller and people are working harder and longer hours and their family commitments. And then on the blogging side, there's, to my mind, if I understand correctly, no community where there were the regular gatherings it, uh, because it's gotten so large. And it's, That's it's, an interesting way of, 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 of thinking about it. I hadn't thought about that before. And it's, to me, it's the sort of thing, yeah, there's just regular gatherings where you get to know, because right now, it's, I do know that, yeah, the people that I know online, but there's no, there's no sort of that getting together that was very, very nice back when your blog was large and in charge. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a question, I guess, of, of structure, you know? It's like, there's no, you don't have to belong to a group in order to start a blog. You don't have to even know what your blog is to start a blog. Um, so, you know, you do have, you do have groups of people to get together, but, um, I, I, I think the, the, the biggest way of, of building community in blog, in the blogosphere is, you know, just people linking to each other from their blogs, whether it's through blog roll or through, you know, linking to other people's posts. Um, but, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs>